Hey y'all, Billy here, Strong's Adventures. What we've got for y'all today, we have purchased a new Dutch oven table. And we're going to show you what it is, what it looks like, and what I think about it. We'll be right back. So, what we're going to do today is show you what we purchased. We have had a Camp Chef Dutch oven table for about 15 years. We decided we needed to get another one. Now I have one that I've made, but we decided to go with the Lodge just because we know what our Camp Chef one... Uh, yeah, I keep looking at it because it's sitting over there. We know how our Camp Chef one's made. We decided we'd try the lodge out. Now these Dutch oven tables range in price anywhere between $100 and $250. In fact, this actual table, we will have an Amazon link if you want to go there, but I would encourage y'all to shop around for any Dutch oven table you want to buy because there's deals out there everywhere. So, that being said, if you're liking what we're doing here go on over there and think about hitting that subscribe button ring that little bell so you get the notifications and hey give us a thumbs up if you'd like let me start by saying all their cast iron is made in the United States however all their accessories are usually sourced somewhere else this is a product from Cambodia. So, that being said, let's open it up, give you a look, and I'll tell you my thoughts. First off, I just, I just want to kind of show how the package arrived. This, this is how the package arrived. As you can see, the table's just about poking through the whole front side. Now, we did buy this through Cabela's, which is Bass Pro Shop, as everybody knows. But, we're gonna go ahead and open it and tell you what we think. You know what? The box is so beat up. Let's just do this. And there we have our Lodge Dutch oven table. Um, hmm. It has directions, which is kind of cool. Oh, I like this. It holds your windscreen in. If I could figure out how to get the windscreen out. And it's got a lot taller windscreen than our Camp Chef table. It's a 12 inch tall windscreen. So we're gonna slide the windscreen out of the little hooks. I'll set this off to the side. And that leaves us with our Dutch oven table. Mm. 
as you can see it has the fold up legs just like a normal folding table and be careful because these will probably pinch your fingers here's one feature that this table has that our other dutch oven table does not have all the legs are able to screw out so that you can adjust your table and make it level the other one i always have to put a piece of wood or something underneath it so i'm liking that Um, not positive why they didn't bring the lip all the way around, but it's probably in the instructions. I'll have to read that, and I'll tell you all about that. All right, according to the directions, this is for easier ash removal. Kind of liking that feature. Now, as far as some of the welds on here, pretty janky I don't know what that is but it looks like it would cut you pretty good that's all rough it'll be hit, getting hit with the grinder a little bit of touch-up paint it's got a nice handle the handle will be nicer if it was a little straighter it has a total of ten, maybe twelve weld spots if you count the one where they doubled the weld right here. Like I said, gonna give you a review. We're not sponsored by these people. I'm just telling you what you're gonna get if you go buy one of these. Okay, the size on this is 26 inches high. 32 inches long and 16 inches wide which will let you set two 14 inch dutch ovens on i am liking this it's a little it's a little rough around the edges but ain't nothing we can't work with like i said i don't like this really sharp piece sticking out right here um what I do like is the legs are not open to the elements like our other one because we have the legs that recess into the bottom of the table and so when it rains and it's sitting outside at the campsite those legs fill up with water you get ready to leave and now you got water all in your table legs which also lets it rust so that I really am liking that feature I really like the flip out. Um, also, really liking this windscreen as tall as it is. Because our other one, the windscreen's only about four inches tall. It does great for the bottom coals, keeps them from burning up too fast, but it does nothing for the top coals when we're using it as a, you know, oven, which is the whole purpose in having a Dutch oven. All right, let's sit this down on the ground. I'll get the windscreen on it, and we'll take a look at that. I'm also really liking this feature here where they left part of this out. It, it really is going to help getting all those excess used up ashes off of there or your spent coals because you'll just be able to rake it into a fire safe bucket throw it in your campfire and get rid of it okay so let's get our windscreen out and see what we think about that that's quite surprising let's turn it the right way Let's 
those tabs out a little bit more. As you can see it does have a really nice deep windscreen now this is a little shorter than my camp chef one but the height is not bad um, and I'm really liking it. it it feels good it's really sturdy the hinges, I like the hinges. They're a nice sturdy hinge. Um, what can I say? Other than some of the welds, it seems to be a pretty decent product. All right, we did actually spring for the extra bag because you gotta be able to tote it in something, right? And, uh, this is what we got it's thirty dollars extra and which is not bad because the dutch oven bags they make which is a lot less material cost a lot more money so we'll get the our other table back over here we'll get the bag out we'll show you how it all fits in the bag all right so let's see how good this thing goes in the bag We'll take our bag and unzip it here. These are made out of nylon zippers. Flip that bad boy open. We'll get our table. how good it fits oh, kind of like this the bag has a slit in it so that when you're carrying it you're actually carrying it by the table not by a strap that will probably give way later and fall off so I'm liking that that's a good feature right there really impressed with that so let's fold our legs down. Let's grab our windscreen and slide it in. That's also another feature that I really like because our camp chef does not have anything to hold that and so the Windscreen rattles around and falls around and doesn't want to fit in the bag that we have and So I'm liking that All right, let's see if we can get it closed Nothing to it. So, kind of liking it. Like I said, there's a few things on it that could have been made a little bit better, but overall, pretty impressed. Now, the biggest thing is how impressive is it going to be when we cook on it? Well, you'll have to wait and see because that will be our next video. We'll be making something on this thing. All right. Don't forget, there ain't no loving like Dutch oven loving. Ring that bell. Hit that like. Subscribe.
Now we have a car. It's a car. It's a car. We're taking this out of a box. We can only take it out of the box once. I know. And a dog and another car. <laughs> 